In there. Great. More of these things. Of all the times. Did you get the power back on? Yeah. Breaker should be over past that flashlight. Try using spectral vision. Never know what we might find. <laughs> harder for us. Take a look. That was Rinko's custom ride. Damn. But what's custom about it? Got some kind of anti-spirit tech, from what I heard. In theory, it ought to get us through the fog. How about in reality? Give me a sec. It won't even start. Of course not. There's no gas in it. Plus, the custom turbocharger's busted. We'll need a replacement turbine wheel to get it running again. The real problem's the fragrant underworld oil. The... what? This is no ordinary bike. It's got the power to cut right through that fog. But to do that, it needs special oil from the other side. And we're fresh out. Okay. So how do we get some? Dunno. You... If you don't know, then what are we supposed to do? Better get that. Bet someone's gonna force their help on us. I didn't have all day to wait for you to pick up, so I rigged this phone to ring periodically and play back a recording. No need to talk, just listen to my instructions. My voice? It's Ed. You're in the garage, which means you're trying to use Rinko's motorbike. And now, you don't know where to find the necessary fragrant underworld oil. I've told you before, KK, but I'm sure you'll have forgotten, am I right? Smart guy. Kiss my ass. You can find the oil in places where the underworld's interference is especially potent. Anywhere you can see it spilling over into our world. This should be readily apparent. Now get searching. Signing off. Any idea where to look? 
Not yet. Let's find a good vantage point to scope out the area. Around here, our best bet might be the Mitake real estate building. That's the Rinko I know. Never holds back. Would a secondhand shop really deal in something like that? Lots of things end up on their shelves. Most folks wouldn't recognize it. If it's that corrupted, definitely worth checking out. So, Ed, does he usually communicate with recordings like that? Yeah, pretty much. Sometimes he'll go a week or more without saying a word in person. One time I wanted to make him talk, so I told him there was a ninja hiding behind him. And did that work? Nope. But later he sent me a 20-minute recording of ninja facts. That bike of Rinko's has some serious mods on it, huh? Yeah, those guys are all into that kind of thing. Rinko's really particular. Not just with the bike, either. One time she even built her own cleaning robot. That was mainly because she'd die before she'd pick up a broom, though. <laughs>